This episode of News and Rumors is sponsored by nobody because I'm not famous enough to have sponsors. Yo, what's up everybody? It's me, Simon. This is News and Rumors where we look at news and rumors in the world of technology because that's what we're into, right? No? If you're not, go away. Just leave the page now. Okay, so this uh, news story is a little bit odd, not too old really, not in the, in the world of news it's old, but in actual terms it's like a few days old. The uh, hacking group Anonymous said that they're gonna close down, shut down, end the world of Facebook on November 5th, which is devastating if they actually do it, which I don't think they'll do, but it is devastating because November 5th is my birthday and people won't be able to write happy birthday on my wall. It should make me cry because I'd feel unloved, but then I wouldn't be able to log in, so I don't, I, I don't know. But it's, they're not gonna do it, you know. I think it's something to do with Guy Fawkes Day and all this stuff about like, hey, we wanna do the right stuff, Facebook's stuff, join us if you want any personal information and stuff. But anyway, um, uh, I don't think it's gonna happen. All right, so this uh, another one that came out uh, in Cupertino, you know where Apple is, uh, the Apple headquarter placey place, campus. Uh, yeah, well, they kind of did this, they kind of sent in these building plans for this uh, huge spaceship-like campus. <laughs> be really sick and there's this huge garden in the middle and it would be just amazing if they built that and I would have to go there or look at it on Google Maps or something like that. I don't know, it'd be cool. Okay, so this is just really cool news. Uh, 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 Goodyear, uh, the tire makers, you know, the people who make the tires for everyone. Uh, they, they're developing this uh, tire that will pump itself up. It'll be so cool because, cause, you know, like if you have flat tires, it really does affect your petrol kilometers. These tires will keep at the perfect pressure, which will help with your petrol kilometers and uh, yeah. Yeah, will really help out and keep you fuel efficient, which is always best, right? It's like the petrol and it's getting expensive and it's emissions, all this good and bad stuff that we need to sort out. And this is a good way for the future. All right, so this is a uh, rumor, so we have to lower our voices. Apparently the iPhone 5 is uh, going to be released in October. I really do think that they are going to release an iPhone 5. It's going to be released soon, September, October, I don't know. But yeah, it's going to work. It's going to happen. And yeah, it's going to be really powerful and it's going to be sexy, skinny, so slim. It's going to be cool. It'll probably have a bigger screen i'm not sure about that it could maybe keep the resolution of the retina but increase it by like half an inch or something so yeah that, that, that'd be cool right i will probably get one that's how much i want one and i'll get one yeah, i'll figure it out somehow i'll, I'll get one somehow It'd be so cool so yeah our windows phone 7 you know uh, mango that should be coming very soon i reckon it's been released to all the hardware makers and stuff and it's gonna come there's no actual date yet but it's gonna come and it looks really good and i like windows 7 i've used ios and android and i really prefer ios i hate android it's just not for me i don't know it just can't use it it's not good for me so uh windows phone 7 that looks really good i haven't used it and I, I, I want to and i'll see what i can do hope i can use it sometime but it looks really good i think it's like simple it's simple and easy and it looks good we still haven't seen after many many months a new mac pro there is rumors that it will be coming in the fourth quarter of 2011 because that is when the suitable processes that go inside of these things will be released by intel i reckon uh, that is about right uh, so yeah that that's good new mac pros they'll be really super powerful and ridiculous like usual but they'll be ridiculously priced too there might be a redesign where they're like slimmer i saw a mac pro the other day at the apple store and it was huge i didn't realize how big it was like i was used to like desktop so this is like ridiculously sized but also apple has a thing with intel sometimes get processes earlier so you never know they could be released in september even but yeah they could be coming soon but you never know it's just rumors oh so yeah rumors are rumors so another rumor is uh apple could uh stop using intel chips in their macbook airs because they use too much power pretty much uh, they might be in stepping away from the x86 market with those processes and going to the ARM ones, which uh, instead of like computer chips, they're like the ones that are in the iPad too. And it's uh, reported that they've been test that they've tested having the A5 processor in a MacBook Air. And I can tell you from having an iPad 2, which has the A5 processor in it, it's not powerful enough. I reckon maybe when the A6 comes or A7, when it's maybe a quad core, and it's like getting to like reasonable speeds and it, it might work i don't know it's kind of a dodgy one but you never know that you could try new things and it would be really ultra low vo voltage and stuff and it'd be great but i'm not sure about the power yet the performance of it i'm not going to talk too much about the patents but uh, apple's Intented. projectors that could go in their ios devices and could, like it's an attachment on macbook yeah they're cool but uh, they're just patents like they could just be securing them up they might bring them out in 20 years they might bring them out in a year you never know it's just a patent it doesn't mean anything's guaranteed at all or anything so yeah but they would be cool to have projectors, right? And then they also painted this technology that uh, reduces the fingerprints on the screen. It'd be cool to have that on iPhone 5 where you don't get fingerprints. I don't know. Kind of hard, but I guess if they can come up with it, then it could work and it could be good and everybody's happy. Oh yeah, Apple's suing everybody, of course. They're suing uh, Samsung for the Galaxy Tab 10.1. They're suing the Motorola over the Zoom, I think, and they're going around suing everyone. It's all right, I guess. <coughs> 
There's a rumor that there'll be a Sony uh, announcement on the 24th of August uh, for new cameras. So they had a new update, the NEX C5. That's a very good camera. And they might be doing something with their transparent mirror technology that they've been dealing with to give full autofocus during video, which is sick. I didn't realize, I, I, I want a DSLR, and I didn't realize that they don't do autofocus. So that would suck for like filming yourself and stuff. Because this video camera here has autofocus. So I can move around and it keeps me in focus most of the time. Right? Good. Okay. Okay, so uh, just before we go, I'd like to uh, thank our sponsors, Nobody. Go check out their website, uh, and I get nothing, and there is no such website. What cool thing would you want in any, any product? Because of this new projector thing they paint, it's kind of got my mind thinking. It'd be really cool, like, if my phone could, like, stand up and, like, drive. I reckon that'd be really cool. I don't know. What's your ideas? Give them down in the comments below, and, yeah, feel free to subscribe, and, yeah, bye. Feel free to subscribe.